This is Dr. Van Rieken at Reno Sparks Med Spa in Reno, Nevada, and I have this beautiful young woman named Vanessa with me. She came in to see me for a mole, and if you look at her mole, um, it's dark, it's small, just a couple millimeters. It's slightly raised, and so the question is, if I remove this and smooth it out with radio frequency, will it have pigment at the base? Will I need to do anything else? My suspicion is yes, and I've sort of drawn two moles. So the question with the Vanessa's mole is, is the pigment all at the top or is there pigment going deep? So if it's like this, if the pigment's at the top and I kind of smooth it out, then this color and this color are the same. It's going to be a very nice cosmetic result. However, if the pigment goes deeper, which I can't tell looking now, but I'll be able to tell after we do the procedure, if the pigment goes deeper then it'll be flat, but there'll still be a dark spot there. We may want to do something like laser therapy over that area and I've actually told her today that I would include uh, some laser in the price so we can take care of that uh, which I suspect will be needed but with the mole that's always uh, an issue does the pigment go deep or not if the mole is the same color as the surrounding face we're golden we don't have to worry about this but very frequently with mole removal or mole smoothing this is an issue how deep does the pigment go there are other ways to remove moles besides radio frequency uh, we're not doing a biopsy. This is clearly benign. She's also um, got darker skin. It's very lovely skin, but darker skin has got some advantages. One of them is it has a low rate of skin cancers. This is small. It's round. It has regular borders. It's monocolored. It doesn't have any features of cancer, and she doesn't have cancer in her family, so I'm comfortable not biopsying this. So without further ado, I will numb her up, and then we'll use a radio frequency loop to uh, smooth it out. So uh, here's the mole, a small thing, so we're going to give her a little lidocaine. We're going to raise it up a little. Here's a pick. And there are two reasons to raise it up. Number one, you know you've got the product in, but it also makes the procedure slightly easier to do because it sort of poofs it out, sticks up a little bit, and that just makes my job a little easier. Now, she may get a little whitish or blanched in this area. There's a touch of... Uh, adrenaline in this area so you may find that this tissue sort of looks paler that will disappear in a couple of hours this is a wet procedure we like to keep the mole wet while we're working so I am going to put a little drop of anesthetic on top of it and that's not really for the anesthesia but that helps me smooth the mole out this is the radio frequency loop we're using it's not sharp it's just a wire but it'll shoot some waves and you'll see that it uh, has a cutting function are you ready, Vanessa? You can see that we're close to flat. There's a little pigment left there. Take off just a whiff more. So if we look, um, it's much lighter. Most of the pigment is gone. Uh, that'll fill over with skin. She may need just a little uh, Pikachu hit there. So. As I said earlier, we have a pinch of adrenaline in the anesthetic, and you can see that this tissue has lightened up a little bit. That will go away in a few hours. If you look at her mole, it looks a lot better. Probably 80 or 90% of that pigment's gone. There's just a little bit of brown stuff. And uh, it, it's always a pleasure to work on somebody this good looking because uh, you know they're going to be good looking when you're done. Um, so remember that if you're going to have anything done yourself, it's very important not just to get the mole removed, but have somebody that's experienced, knows to look at uh, skin cancer, what looks like skin cancer, what doesn't. Some things need a biopsy, this one didn't, but you need a good medical eye for that, and that's always important prior to the, uh, prior to the mole removal. This is Dr. Van Rieken at Reno Sparks Med Spa. Uh, stay well and, and stay good looking.